clutch kick there. There's a brace transfer. Oh my. That was a quick aggressive cut. But we got this all. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Horizon 4, Fortune Island, staring down an S2K to do a full drift build on it. Um, this is the wide body capable S2K. So, we're going to be doing a full drift build on this car, all specs, power, everything. Then, we're going to shred it. We do have the helmet cam out today. I didn't quite get my audio fixed fully. So when the helmet cam goes on, my audio for my voice might be a little muffled. I am fixing that here in the next video or two to uh, fix that because you guys seem to like the helmet cam video better than the other video. So we're going to uh, just get to this. Can we open the hood on this? We can. You can look at that nice, uh, the nice Honda VTEC right there. A little four, little four banger. So we're going to. Uh, do a full drift build on this car. So we're gonna go upgrade it first. And then uh, of course after that, we'll get the wheel cam turned on and we'll go rip this thing. So of course the first thing we have to do is throw on that rocket bunny, which I hope gives me fenders. There they are. That is definitely a very aggressive wide body to say the least. So we do, it looks like we have an intercooler up front unless that's just, a, yeah, no, it looks like an intercooler. So we're probably gonna turbo this thing and uh, keep stock motor, but we're gonna just turbo the stock motor. Can we put a really aggressive wing on this thing? We can put a top secret wing on there. That's a uh, it's pretty aggressive. Oh, no, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the rocket bunny wing. Um, that is super aggressive and this should probably be built as a time attack car. Um, I know Urgent is building one of these as a time attack car, but uh, we're gonna build a full drift car on it and uh, we're gonna go full send and do some sport tires. And we're gonna go probably 235s in the front and uh, some 255s in the rear. We're gonna have to throw some really, uh, some really cool wheels on this car though. I kinda like, although I kinda like those, but I'm not sure what wheels to throw on this car right now. I think we're just going to throw those on for right now. They look pretty cool. I'm going to bump those up to 18s. This is going to be a very aggressive car once this thing drops on uh, drift suspension. Hopefully we can get drift suspension on this. I didn't really look, so get wrecked on myself if we can't. We're going to install all the goods there, and then we are going to go... Install some bigger brakes, fill up those wheels. Oh my gosh. Uh, Want to talk about stance? This car is aggressive looking. I, uh, I may have found my new favorite looking aggressive car. This car is super aggressive. So what are we looking at weight wise? 28, 27, 26. We're going to lighten it all up. We're going to go all out with this build uh, just because we can. 300. We may keep the stock uh, turbo on there. So it's really gonna boil down to the nitty gritty of the settings. I don't think we're gonna bump the turbo up too, too much. We could have put the turbo rally motor in here probably. Let's do that or we're gonna go full blown out power on this car. So we're at 552. I mean, 613 sounds good. So that's a very good number. So we're gonna install that setup. We're gonna get the tuning on it. And then we're gonna get the helmet cam turned on. And uh, then we're going to, well, send it up the hill, send it down the hill, and uh, see how she slides. So first we're gonna start off with dropping tire pressures down 24 and 22 to start off. We'll leave the gear ratios because we're not sure. Definitely gonna dial back some camber. Definitely don't need that much. And we're gonna leave. I feel like we're gonna leave all that to start zeroed out. We're gonna leave the anti roll bars how they are. I think we should just leave it how it sits and see how it slides to start. 
and then uh, modify it from there. Of course, we're going to adjust the brake bias. So all we did was dial back the camber, and um, we're going to drop this down some. We we'll drop this down to 40. So we dialed back the camber and uh, changed tire pressures. So we're just going to go uh, pretty much full send on this right now. Hopefully this car uh, works well. So we're going to get the helmet cam on and get it turned on. And, uh, well, we're going to rip this thing and see how it works. All right. So we do got the helmet cam on now. Like I said, my voice is going to sound a little muffled because I haven't adjusted that yet. And we're just going to go and send this car. Oh, my. This thing revs so high already. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. This thing already just wants to go sideways. It sounds pretty cool. I do like how it sounds. Oh man, that dude just turned right into me. VTEC kicked in, yo. Alright, so let's do this. Probably going to be staying in fourth gear. And uh, we'll see how this thing rips. It is a little wet out, so see how it handles in the rain. Probably should have oh gone into third. So basically, out of the basic settings, I do feel we need to change some suspension aspects. probably definitely change our gear ratio because I don't think we can drift in third we definitely need to change our gearing because fourth is too boggy but third is uh, not high enough not long enough so fourth will probably be good going downhill Go. If we just clutch kick it, we should be all right. So once we get to the top of the hill, we're gonna make some uh, some tweaks to this car. So just a first drift build, really here in Fortune Island that I am doing with full view of all the settings and everything like that if you guys like seeing these drift builds and you guys want to see more let me know down in the comment section down below what car you want to see so we're down in third this is really hard oh it kind of gripped up there all right, so we're going to switch some stuff up. Grab our uh, controller here. We're going to change some things around. Oh, no, I don't want to reposition car. I want to uh, go to tuning. Okay, yes, I understand. We're going to go a little more acceleration so that we can uh, get better Excel. We're going to change that a little bit. Mm. Go a little bit of positive toe. We'll leave the caster. I want to soften up the front any roll bar a little bit to about 31. I'm going to raise the ride height just a smidge just because of weight transfer. We're going to lower the rebound. We're going to get rid of a lot of downforce. And we're going to send this and see how this goes on the downhill. And see how it works. Be able to use fourth gear now. Okay, that's a little bit better. I thought we were going to bug out, but we're good. This car is so aggressive looking. 
and I feel like I want to build a grip version of this car. There we go. Oh. This thing is a lot of fun to drive right now. Long e-brake grab, a little bit on the brakes. The clutch kick there. There's a brace transfer. Oh my. That was a quick aggressive cut. But we got this old, oh, as I say that, we lose all control of the car, but we got it back. We're back in control of it. Get this little, uh, little hop over hill. Oh. I cut that a little bit too short, but we're good. Been having a lot of fun tuning drift cars on this hill because uh, we got a good uh, combination of uh, technical speed as well as some uh, other interesting aspects involved. So there we go. Not the best downhill run, but uh, anything over 300,000 I'll take. So I think those setting changes help a lot. So give this a shot for yourself. I will upload the tune if you guys want to download the tune yourself. We'll do that before the end of the episode's up. Otherwise, you guys can just honestly make it yourselves. With the fact that I did show you guys all the settings, maybe you can fine tune it yourself. Oh man, I feel like we should hit some of these other uh, other parts of here, of Fortune Island right now. There we go. Don't hit that car. A little clutch kick. Probably should be in fifth gear, but this gear would probably bog down way too much. Oh, oh don't hit that car. Oh, we almost died. So this S2K, a lot of fun to drive. Super excited, I didn't even know, because I didn't look, that one of these S2000s could get a full wide body. And then my buddy Urgent sent a picture of his time attack car that he's building, and it's a wide body S2K. So then I looked at Upgrade Hero Cars and realized, well, this one can get a wide body. After asking him how he got a wide body on, and Urgent being Urgent, if you guys know Urgent, Give me a smart comment of, um, well, I put a body kit on it. Thanks, Sergeant. You're the best. Love you. Mean it. So, this S2000 handles very good. Give it a shot for yourself. Let me know what you guys think. I will put this up before we end this episode off so that uh, I don't tell you that I'm putting it up and I forget to. Just tap. Ooh, okay. Just uh, doing a little uh, street style driving right now in this car. Can't break ourselves in. A little bit over the curve, we're good. So if you guys want to keep seeing drift builds here on the channel, let me know down in the comments section down below what kind of car maybe you want to see a drift build for. If you got a specific car you want to get built, let me know. The plan is to give away those Evos on Wednesday. The plan is to do a live stream on Wednesday and uh, give those cars away. Um, I will let you know on Twitter and Instagram if anything changes. In the meantime, the plan is Wednesday to do a live stream here on the channel around 7, 7 p.m. US time to uh, give those Evos away here live on the channel. So if you guys want a chance, to get one of those, you have to tune in the live stream. I will be putting them up in the auction house for you guys to buy for not super expensive. So, as always, you guys know, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll have in the description box below. This S2000 is uh, so much fun and it's just roasting tires. So, as always, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support you give me. I will get this audio fixed with the helmet cam here for the next episode or two so that uh, I'm not as muffled. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I think you're coming back and all the support you guys give the channel. I do appreciate it all. 
I do appreciate reading comments and, you know, interacting with you guys in the comments. So as always, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys on the next one. I ran out of gear. Oh, that's a treat. Don't, don't. Oh, saved it.